Hi, this is Dan York, and when I began this Emerging Tech Talk podcast some 38 episodes ago, one of the ideas was that I would occasionally talk about kind of uh, tech things, toys, tools, other stuff that I found interesting. And to be honest, I haven't done a lot of that. I've been focusing more on our announcements, our surveys, and things. So I thought I'd throw this little show in quickly and talk about a a gadget, a tool that I've uh, found, and I'm looking forward to using it quite a lot. Uh, the gadget is this. It's the it's the eyeball USB webcam from Blue Microphones, and um, that's their little symbol right there, Blue Microphones. I, I've been in the podcasting space now for most of five years, and Blue is known for their their Snowball, for some of the other different uh, microphones they have, uh, both for the quality and also for the kind of retro old look that they have. But today, I want to talk about one that I'm really excited about because it's a very portable one, and it's both uh, an audio, a mic, and a camera. So this is it. This is the, it's called the the Blue Eyeball. And they have a, a audio, a microphone called the Snowflake, which is a little small mic that you can go and attach to your computer and record off of it on via USB, and that's actually that's actually what I started looking at was the uh, was the Snowflake. But then I saw this one. I said, "This is cool. I can get it with a camera." So this is all closed up into its travel mode. But if I open this up, we have the uh, the microphone there has that retro look to it. And if I take this apart, I should maybe I'll take this apart first. Uh, this is a little shelf that has here, and I've got the uh, the USB cable. So if I put this back on here, and I open the mic up, the, the mic can spin around. Has uh, that that retro look to it there? But this is um, I could set this down on a table. You know, I could put this here, have the microphone look up there. You know, USB cable will come out of the back side of it and things like that. But the 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 camera part is this right over here on this side. It has a little pop out camera, and you can see it right there. So the nice thing is I can pop it out, use it. I can push it back in, just pops right back in, and then it's definitely off, and I know that it's off that way. And so it's a nice little thing. I can use that. I can take this thing apart, and now I can put this onto the edge of a computer, like I can do it here, right here on my MacBook, which of course you can't see, but it's there, trust me. And why would I want to do this? My reason for buying it, quite honestly, was that I wanted a webcam that faced away from me. Because when I'm doing things like recording into iMovie, when I'm doing uh, streaming over Ustream or live stream or one of those services, with the built-in eyesight, it has to be facing this direction. It has to be facing toward me, the keyboard, everything else. Sometimes it's not convenient. You want to be able to be broadcasting something. And if you have to turn the, the, the laptop around, then the camera's pointing that way and the keyboard's that way and everything else. But this, I just put it right up there. I point that out, and now I can be uh, streaming a panel. I could be streaming an interview with somebody. I can spin this. I can move this around. I can go and look at that. Um, it's just a standard USB webcam, no special drivers. You just go plug it in, and it goes and works. But the question when I talked about this on Twitter, of course, was, so what's the video quality like? What's the audio quality like? So, uh, so let me switch out of this, and let me go and show you. So be right back. So here I am back again, this time with the uh, webcam coming out of the, uh, the eyeball. Now, um, one supreme annoyance is that uh, I'm having to record this on my MacBook Pro into Photo Booth. You see, iMovie 09 only works with the built-in eyesight, or it works with an external Firewire uh, camcorder. But it, for whatever reason, stupidity on Apple's part, quite honestly, and I, iMovie will not work with another external USB webcam. Ridiculous, and I don't understand why they would do that. So it's a few minutes later. I'm recording this. Um, as you can see, I mean, to me, the audio qual- or the video quality seems pretty good. Uh, the audio quality seems uh, decent as as well. Although I have a, believe it or not, a steamroller is driving down the street outside here. So if you may hear background noise, whatever they're doing some work here. It's about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, so uh, I have two windows that are open right here, so the lighting that you're seeing is the natural light coming in. I don't have any other lights on. I'm seeing a little bit of graininess in the background, 
Uh, it's a little bit lower light conditions, I guess, than uh, what I had when I tried this out uh, earlier today. Um, but uh, that's this is what the video looks like. It's what the audio sounds like coming out of this. So what I'm going to do now is save this recording out of uh, Photo Booth, uh, flip that over into uh, iMovie, and then I'll come back after I take a look at both of them and offer some final thoughts. So I'm back again and uh, now recording directly in the iMovie from the iSight camera. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure about how that came out because as you saw, it was definitely lower light conditions and the camera obviously compensated a bit and, uh, and provided some, you know, it was a, certainly a darker background than what you're seeing right now. But uh, be it as it may, uh, that's an example of what it looked like in the late afternoon. Uh, in the earlier day when I tried this, when I was doing some video with this, uh, the quality seemed fine. But um, anyway, uh, the nice thing about it, again, is travel-wise, it works out real well. I, this is how it was set up there. I just take the pieces apart, pop the camera back in there. I can just sort of uh, fold this a bit. And then the head can spin around so that I can just put the head down in here for, for travel. Um, then I can take the... Uh, USB cable right here. Just sort of wrap that around, uh, wrap that around the head in there. Put that like this. Put this in there, and then I'll just snap this cover right back on. He says, doing a demo. Okay, there it goes. And now I've got a nice little thing that I can just throw in my laptop case and uh, be able to uh, take with me and travel and whatever else. And so now I can pop that out use that. So next week when I'm out at VoiceCon and Enterprise 2.0 in San Francisco, I expect that I'll try this out a little bit, use it for some uh, calls home over Skype and things like that. Um, what I said before about working with iMovie, it's a problem with iMovie. iMovie will only work with the iSight camera or with um, a FireWire attached camcorder. I found using this camera, it's worked perfectly fine with Skype. It's worked fine with flash-based tools like, uh, again, I mentioned Ustream. Uh, live stream, etc. And those have worked fine. And uh, obviously, Photo Booth works fine as well. So it seems to be only an iMovie issue with not being able to work with USB webcams. But anyway, for those who are asking about the video quality, there it is. You can check it out. They're selling these on Amazon.com. Right now, I got it for the uh, incredibly low price of only $59. It seems that I guess what they're trying to do is uh, perhaps flush out these in the white box, which is the version 1.0. And there's apparently a new version 2.0, which is out, which is apparently in a black box, somebody said on Twitter. And uh, that version, though, the person who was using it with their Mac uh, had a problem with uh, ghosting and the images and such. But anyway, that's it. Love to hear your feedback. You can uh, leave that here on our blog at blogs.voxeo.com slash ETT, or you can send me email to dyork at voxeo.com. Thanks for watching, and you're welcome to view the other shows. And until another time, it's Dan York signing out.